Hello everybody, this is Douglas with Other Than Intended Purposes, Jack's behind the camera, and lunch is cooking. We're having sausages and little potatoes in the can cooker today. That's good. Um, I'm going to do a combination video because a while back I got a flashlight and I was like, wow, I want to do a video on this. And then every time we'd set up to come out here, I was having bad days and we couldn't do it. And in the same package, if you watched my knife video that I posted before this, my same friend that gave me the BK-40 got me an MR2 Pro Warrior in uh, camouflage? <laughs> Lord, just a half inch. Right there. Is my face in this yet? I can't see that. Oh, you had it zoomed in. Okay. <laughs> yeah, camouflage. Blue and silver shiny camouflage. <laughs> For the ocean. I've been wanting to, <laughs> I've been wanting to do a video on this other one, which is the parent two, and I got this one as like, okay, why don't I just combine them? We have done a lot, and a lot of people have done a lot of flashlight videos that use 18650 and when it came out 18650 was the oh my god new flashlight uh, new battery that just really outperformed anything before it well flashlight or battery designers saw they came out with the 18650 and said here hold my beer and they came out with the 21700 now that's a damn battery I, every time I see stuff like this, I cannot help but think about my dad. My dad was a, a an engineer and a and a tool and die machinist, and he he did prototyping. People came to him with a problem, and he solved it. And he loved moving forward and pushing the limits on what things could do. And and when he died. Mag lights were amazing. My i5T has more lumens than a mag light. And that uses a, a AA battery. And it rides right here all the time. These things would just, I, the, I, I'm sure that my father would just be in awe. Of, of what flashlights have turned into. So on to what we were talking about. We're going to start with the stats on the MR2 Warrior. It is 5.37 inches long. Uh, it weighs 6.3 ounces. It is 1.03 inches in diameter with a head of 1.16. On its highest level, it is 1,800 lumens. That is a lot. Going back to that mag light reference, a 2D cell mag light had, I believe it was 96 lumens. And, and people were amazed by that. This is 1,800. Now on regular, if you put it on turbo, it's only gonna last a couple minutes and it kicks down. That's for heat, because that sucker does get hot probably cook a little tiny egg on that table. <laughs> on high you're gonna get 750 that'll last for a while I, I didn't write down times I, I I don't like it battery times because they're never accurate because you don't sit there and it's like oh I need to stand here for exactly 57 minutes shining a light on something you put the light on it while you're using it you turn it off right afterwards you do that a few times and you charge it up so on medium one, it has 250 lumens. Medium two, it has 60. Low is 12. And moonlight is one half. Several people have said in forums and to me personally, why would anyone want a half a lumen? Well, I'll tell you what. I walk around my house at night sometimes. 
Well, I wobble around my house at night sometimes. I can't be a weeble because I do fall down a lot. Fell down a few days ago and put my t my t tooth came clean through my lip from the out from the inside. That hurt. We got two cats that like to be between your feet while you're I don't walking. have cats. Your mother has cats. Fair. I, <laughs> I want another dog. I miss my dog. <laughs> money can't, you know, money can buy a lot of things, but it doesn't wag its tail and get all excited every single time it sees you. Like, you leave the room and come back, it's like, oh my God, they're back. Ah! I love dogs. Okay, back to... <laughs> That train of thought took a left, didn't it? Okay, moonlight mode, half a lumen. In pitch black darkness, a half a lumen is a lot of light. It doesn't hurt your eyes. It doesn't mess your night vision up as bad as brighter light does. But you can see everything in your way and you can move around and you're not also disturbing other people that might get, you know, you hit that and you're bothering people, I guarantee you. I don't know how much you saw that on camera. But this is a really good light. And to for size comparison, the only one that I had that was the same size as this, and it looks like a it's Black Brother, is the Phoenix PD36R. And they are almost identical, although this has a really really aggressive I hate my brain the word for that it's not crenellation I'm gonna just call it a bitey defense boy there I know the word for that and my my brain damage is not letting me say the word I don't know the word for it, it. is very aggressive I don't know if it's removable or not I don't care it is very aggressive. If if someone started messing with you and you put that into any part of their skin and turned it, that would hurt. And it matches the blue um, pocket clip. I am not doing words. I don't know what the hell is going on with my words. But like anything else, when I get something, I use it for a while before I... Um, why did you burn your thumb? Because I grabbed the handle of the lid. Knucklehead. I'm checking to see if the potatoes are done. Stop it. I use things before I talk about them. And I have been using this quite a bit the past couple of weeks. And I use that Moonlight Mode a lot. I really like it. Another thing this is amazing for is, I've mentioned before, we have a tweaker problem. At night, when we go down to the garage, because there's a tweaker there, if you come around that corner, and I'm going to do this off to the side, and I, 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 I'll like put my hand here for you to have, see what it looks like, because I don't want to do it into the camera. You come around the corner. Epsil epilepsy warning. And do that while you yell at somebody that they're on private property, and it will actually take some of the fight out of them. They get... They, it, disturbs them enough that they get defensive flashing over and it, it's it's really effective it's um, the way you access that is on this you have your tail cap which is also where you put the magnetic charger and you've got a side button the tail cap you can go to a high and the turbo high is half push turbos full the side button if you hold it you go to moonlight and in this light you ain't even gonna touch you can probably barely even tell that that's got a dot on my hand can you see it a little bit yeah that's that half lumen if you just push if if you hold it you can cycle through and it has memory so wherever you turn it off oh that one's bright wherever you turn it off is where it'll turn off it's, when you're cycling you can't go to moonlight so you have to hold it to get moonlight and then turn it off and it'll come back to moonlight which I've been using a lot the second light that I want to talk about I've actually had longer you forgot to say how to activate strobe 
How to activate scroll. I was trying to get to that when I lost my train of thought. Yes. I'm having train scheduling problems today. <laughs> How to access the strobe. You've got the side button right here. Holding it gets for a minute gets you your moonlight. Quick click turns it on and off with a memory to wherever you were. If it's on and you hold it, you cycle through low, medium, medium, to, and high. You don't cycle through turbo and you don't cycle through moonlight. And wind disturbing my pages here. There we go. Seriously? I ain't gonna answer the phone. I'm in the middle of something. <laughs> so, on to the second light, which is why we are here today. This one also uses a 21700. And we're getting into the other than intended purposes here a little bit. This one was designed as a headlamp. I use I have a Fenix headlamp that I use it that weighs less and has What the hell? I Damn phones. It's got two lenses. For some reason, the little lens is the th is the spread, and the big lens is the throw. But I I use this one because it's lightweight. It's easy for me to carry, and it really lights up the ground when I'm using my chair and I'm out at night. Because of that, I don't really use the head strap that came with this. It comes with a head strap, and once you put it in the head strap, you can rotate it like this to wherever you need it. If you need it for a headlamp, in all honesty, they make one that is smaller than this. That is also it's a parent it has the 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 side lens the same way, but it's smaller, and it seems to me like it would be a better um, headlamp. Since we're not having the beans, I figured we'd just use the plates. I already scooped it in there. Okay, no worries. Uh, sorry, sidebar doesn't matter. He, th th lunch is almost ready. This is the Perrin 2. It's an Olight. It is 4.75 inches long. It weighs 5.6 ounces. It is 1.06 diameter on the body, 1.13 diameter on the head. It has a throwing distance of 544 feet with 2,500 lumens. That is a lot. So 2,500 is high. Um, level 2 is 270. That's a huge drop, but there's a good reason for that because you don't need that all the time. Now I access that with a double click. That gives you quick access to bright as hell. Also this one does come with a sensor so that when it's here it's fine. When it gets close to something it actually drops down to level 2 which is your 270. Level 3 is 120 and level 4 is 30 and then there is a each of those you press turn it on and then press to hold and cycle through. And kind of like the other Olight, the uh, MR2 Pro, if you press and hold, you get the lowest level. And this one, instead of being 0.5, is 5. And that is substantially more, but it still works really good for moving around at night. I use this one a lot in my cave because I have a lot of magnetic surfaces. And, okay, that's stainless. That's not going to do it very good. I have a lot of metal cabinets, and my desk is an old army desk that's metal. And the magnet on this is strong enough that when you stick it to something, it stays at 90 degrees. It'll stay, and then you can turn it 
and it gives you really good ability to light up an area. You have something metal? There you go. He's going to... And while that is there, something I forgot to mention on the MR2 Warrior. What's wrong? So I'll leave it on there for a minute. Put your hand under this when you're doing it because this one does not do that. For some reason, now the weight and the on these isn't that much different. The diameter isn't that much different. For some reason, the, that magnet will hold it so that it's hanging down, but it will not hold it at a 90 degree angle, which is the one problem I have. Well, <laughs> you're using the parent to hold it up. Hey, that's demonstrating how good of a magnet the, the parent is. The parent is. too has a hell of a magnet in the base. It just supported the weight of the MR2 Warrior. <laughs> Here you go. Hopefully some of you got a laugh out of that. Yes. <laughs> but for that reason and that reason only, I like this one really, really well for inside my cave better than this one. Now, I never use the, the, the turbo in my room because my room isn't much bigger than the table I'm sitting at right now. If you watch my videos regularly, you've seen my room. That wire basket, when I'm facing the camera, that wire thing that's right here, is actually a shelf unit that has my my little mini fridge and the wire basket I organize stuff in is up against that wall and the desk that's in the shot and touching me here is up against that wall. That's how big my room is. So I don't need the turbo a lot but I do use levels um, 3 and level four, so the, the 120 and the 30 a lot. And then if I'm using it someplace that's right up close to me, I'll hold, do the whole thing and use the five lumens, level five. But I have dropped this several times. I have fallen with it in my hand several times. I drop me all the time. I'm not nearly as durable as this flashlight. <laughs> I used to be durable, but I, I, I'm way past my warranty expiration but uh, <laughs> I'm being silly today I don't know what's wrong with me anyway if you want this as a headlamp I when I got this I had it had the headlamp strap I put the headlamp strap on it's actually you don't feel the weight that much my primary reason I don't use this as a headlamp is because the one that I have will do a wide throw and a long throw or a wide spread and a long throw both at the same time and I can really light up the sidewalk around me or in this area not sidewalk <laughs> around me and know what it is that I'm having to drive around um, but it's actually fairly comfortable as a headlamp also I really like the fact that it is an angle because there are times when I'm doing something and I'll clip it to my shirt and it will light in front of me and so I'm still hands free without having it on my head. If you do that with this one, if you accidentally, you're lighting your lap up. If you accidentally hit turbo with that one pointing at your shirt, you might light your shirt up a little bit. This is true. With a little bit of smoke touched in. I almost had the name of that and then it, it went away again. For anyone who doesn't know, I have a form of aphasia. I know a word that I am trying to say, but I cannot transfer that word from my brain to my mouth. I know what that's called, and my brain is not letting my mouth say it. Sometimes it's really silly stuff that really disturbs me that it doesn't. Anyway, I'm rambling and it's stuff that you guys don't even really care about. I, I know that. So that is those two flashlights. And I will say that in the time that I have been using them, I have been really, really impressed with the battery life, the durability, because like I said, I, I have fallen 
both of these have bounced off a wall and skittered into another room when I have fallen. Which really, really sucks. But every time it's happened, I've gone and picked it up and it was still on. The only thing I would change on the Warrior, the MR2, is I would use this magnet because this magnet is weak. Now, I, it's probably because this one doesn't have a button here and this one does. But I like having the stronger magnet. Thank you very much for listening to me ramble. I know I've been kind of me today. I'm sorry. We have better ideas in the works that we're hopefully going to be doing in the next month or so. You know that right now it is, what, July 6th or 7th? Something like that. Hold on. Half it's second. 59 degrees, and we're on the worst coast. Everybody's like, oh, well, it's so hot in California. Eight. It's hot south of here. It feels more like March than July to me right now. It's 59 degrees. Especially is, under the redwoods. Yeah. No, it's 59 degrees out of the redwoods. It's probably only about... 54 in here because redwoods have a cooling system but anyway i am so rambling i am sorry i apologize for that i hope you have a wonderful day get out into the woods take your tools out practice with what you've got it the best tools in the world cannot help you if you do not know how to use them so enjoy yourself get out in the woods be safe and please excuse the discombobulated ramblings that, that today has brought. Goodbye, everybody. Just a touch to add to the discombobulated ramblings. He mentioned his desk. If anyone's ever curious about it, it's a mid-century army steelwork tanker desk. Yeah, actually, I got it when I was in the army. They were getting rid of it because it was too old and beat up. It was being replaced with a new desk, and I, I asked my captain if I could have it, and he gave it to me. <laughs> and it's one of the biggest models without a bend, if you're ever looking that up. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye. Okay. Quick a little addendum. I forgot to say, the two flashlights, yeah, I kind of turned them on a little bit, but we're going to do a second half to this video at night to show you how they perform. So th that will, for you guys, that will be in like four seconds. For us, it's going to be tonight <laughs> when it's dark. Bye. Hello, everyone. This afternoon, it's not afternoon anymore. This afternoon, Jack and I were in Sequoia Park and showed you the specs and stats on those two flashlights, the Parent 2 and the MR2 Warrior. Well, we came out in the dark so we could give you a better under, or better view of how much light they actually produce. So, all the hubble up was earlier, let's just get right to bright lights. So Jack's going to come over here beside me. I'm going to turn off my headlamp. About how far would you say those trees are? That is, I would say reasonably, that's about a hundred yards. Maybe a little over. So, we are going to start off in the low mode on both of them. Or that's the moonlight mode. Now, I don't even know if you can see that showing up on the grass. Not really affecting it much. Not really affecting a damn thing. What about on the MR2 Warriors Moonlight Boat? Bit of a dot moving around. Okay. That's not real effective. Okay. Might be better if we were in a pitch black forest. Well, the nearest place that's pitch black was too far away to first to go this time of night because he's tired and I don't feel like it. <laughs> okay. 
that is one step up so that is low mode now for up close stuff that's a pretty good amount of light and this is low mode on the MR2 again close-up work inside the house looking for something in the trunk of your car that's a good amount of light going from low to medium one that's medium one on the MR2 so we're getting a little bit better now that hundred yards out it's barely really hitting the not, trees really not doing anything Okay, there's the medium on the Perrin. Now, I meant to bring the headlamp strap for the Perrin out here to show you what it looks like, but in all honesty, I couldn't find the damn thing. Because I have... Hold on, shine the light at me for... Or shine the thing at me for a minute. This is the headlamp I use. And it's got the two lenses. One does, does throw and one does flood. So, I, I, I don't, I'm not going to use this as a headlamp. Okay, stepping up one more on that one. This is level three. Looks like it's actually starting to hit the trees a bit. Yeah, now we're starting to hit them trees out there. The people that live in that house over there hate me. Um, lost my button. There's my button. Is that right? Yeah. Now, on the MR2, the level 3 is actually hitting the, the trees a little bit better there. And you can see we've got more spill on this one than we did before. So we're going to go up one more. Now we're really getting to see the trees where you can see that fence. You got a pretty defined hot spot. There's really not a, a dot in the middle of it like some of them have. But you've got some moderate spill coming off of it too. This would be really good for trying to get through areas with messed up footing, crap on the ground, bushes. Okay, apparently that was high on the Perrin. And so what's left on the Perrin is the turbo. I don't see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's, it's so foggy you can see it floating in the, in the air like rain. I can see it on the screen on this a little bit. Now, again, the, the hot spot on this is pretty well defined but it's got a lot more spill on turbo. I'm gonna compare that directly to the high on the MR2. Which leaves us with Damn it. There we go. Turbo. I can see the bars on the fence. Yeah, I, I don't know how good the camera's picking this up, but not only can I see the, the vertical uh, poles for the fence, I can see the slats in the privacy aspect of it. But that is a lot of damn light. For those now, who are curious, that is a, I think, 10-foot uh, baseball diamond fence. 10, I thought that was about 15. I don't know. About 10? I don't know. Maybe. Now, mostly so far we've been using, well, the parent only has the one button on top. Might be a 15. <laughs> I've been using the side button on the Warrior, the MR2. It's got a tail button also. Now, if you do a half press on that, that's going to give you about your high mode. You do a full press is how you get the turbo on, and that's where you get in this. I mean, that is an, that's a lot of dang light right there. Now, 
that's the turbo on that. I already showed you that on the on the parent. There's one more thing on this one, and it involves the side button again. If you Seizure double click, warning. triple click. If you triple click it, there we go. You get strobe. I was right. Epilepsy warning. And I have used this a couple of times when there were uh, tweakers in our yard that I have, I don't know if they're going to be able to see me until I put the headlamp back on, are they? Ah, warn a guy. Sorry. Jeez. I have a diffuser on my flashlight, now you see him. He's got a, war a Warrior Mini 2 with the little rubber diffuser thing on it. He just lit my eyes up. That was mean. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that, that's a, probably a better angle for you. Yeah, I'm going to just turn those back on anyway. Is that better? Yeah. I, I hope that that gave you some perspective on how bright those actually are. Doing it during the daytime, all you saw was, well, yeah, I can tell that it's on. But when I do things like this... It always makes me think back to when I first joined the Army, I was 17 years old, and I had a 2D cell mag light with an incandescent bulb. And that thing, it was impressive, and wow, it had 90 lumens, and it could light up for 200 feet. <laughs> and it was about that big, and it weighed a pound. <laughs> and you could knock somebody out with it easily. <laughs> and this is an i5T. I carry this every day. It has more light. It actually has more lumens than that mag light. And it uses a AA battery. So flashlight technology has really just exploded in my lifetime. I remember back before that mag light when the uh, two C cell plastic thing <laughs> with a slide on slide off switch that you got at the hardware store for three bucks was a good flashlight. So I hope that this was informative to you guys. That's not working very well. I hope this was informative to you guys. Um, have a good evening. Get out in the woods. Practice with your tools. Love the peace and solitude. Into the forest I go to lose my mind and find my soul. Have a good night or day. I don't know when you're going to watch this. Bye.